public meeting. It has been duly advertised. All who wish to be heard will be heard. We have one situation tonight. It is a request for a privacy fence at 36 South Mannheim. Do you want to come to the table? Yes, you don't want to just entertain a motion to open the hearing. So moved. Second? Uh, I second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. The hearing is open now. Uh, tell us about why you want this fence and what kind of a fence it's going to be. <laughs> sure. Um, well, we, we're on a corner lot, and um, we've had a couple um, issues with privacy, trespassing, traffic incidents. Um, so we just feel like we would like to have one side of the house uh, that isn't on display, and also so we're not we're not there. There's some student rentals across the street. And we've had people wander into the yard. We have a seven-year-old son, so we're just interested in making one side of the corner lot a private side. Um, the other sides are sh shared with a neighbor. The drive We actually yes. share a driveway with two we, other neighbors. We, we're, we're familiar with the property. Yes. I'm even familiar with the house. Yes. Ralph Buchanan. Yes. Yes. His right. house, yes. Ralph Buchanan's house. We, it's now our house. <laughs> no, it's your house. <laughs> but that's he's how... Just, yeah, he's just yeah that's a good it. reference point. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so there's an existing fence, and we want to replace it with something that yeah. looks better. That's the other part of it, and just add on that side a privacy fence. And for aesthetic reasons, also, we feel like it would be it would work better if it went to the corner of the lot, um, which is still in front. Of <laughs> this happens not infrequently, but it, it's part of the entertainment. We can hear it where we are. Oh, good. <laughs> what did you say? No, I'm just <laughs> um, So that's really it. It's just about privacy and in terms of extending it past the front of the structure. It just feels like it would work Recently, up. you completed the... Uh, Enclosed porch. Yes. Uh, with a six foot fence, how much privacy will you have with that porch? Um, a lot more privacy. It's a screen what? porch. It's not a, it's not a, it's not, it's enclosed with screens, so it's still visible from the road. And we okay. can still see the road. Okay. Uh, what you're what, what you're trying to block out is the traffic that uses that street. Mainly, there's a lot of, during the school, the academic year, there's a lot of parking, and there's a lot of partying across the street, and we've had people okay. wander up that side of the house. Okay. And have actually called the police. And I think the other thing is, I also want a place for my son privately where he's not on display on a main road. Um, since there's that main road that way and then a road that you use around that way. Just having that privacy fence feels like he can play in the yard a little bit more. And I don't know, I feel a little bit stressed with him. Do, do you there. need to go all the way to the corner? Aesthetically, I think so, yeah. Aesthetically. Okay. We feel like it would look better. I mean, um, when you say to the corner, do you mean all the way to the edge of the lot or to the corner of where the fence is? Where the fence is right now. Okay. Yeah, the fence that we're, we would be replacing is going to be replace the dimensions. We had the measurements taken off of this fence, essentially. Mm -hmm. So it's the same dimensions. The only change is the material that the fence will be made out of, which will now be made of wood. Um, it's a nicer fence. And then 
that side would be a privacy fence as opposed to picket, will, space will picket. Will the privacy fence be a picket fence? It's a tongue and groove. It's this is what it looks like. The one that's circled. Okay. And it's just that one side of it. Have, have you made it? This is the one you want? Yes. Okay. You know, there's some questions that we're supposed to ask mm. about each variance. Yes. And one of them is, um, what other options did you explore so that you could work within the code? What did you explore and what did you reject and why did you reject it? Um, I mean, we've talked about vegetation, which would block the same amount, but we feel like um, it would look better if it were extended. It would feel like one piece, it would feel aesthetically more planned, more of a concept, if you know, than just kind of throwing stuff together. Like it feels sort of like it's a half and half situation, almost like if you see it. Why did they do that? Why the only I think that you would know why, but I'm not sure people would necessarily know why somebody didn't extend their fence all the way one run of fence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like half and half to me doesn't look correct or for our for our taste it just doesn't look right. Okay. Yeah. And my na I mean our neighbor because the owner between Buchanan and us, which was McCarthy, he our neighbors were basically putting up privacy shrubbery on the other side of the house. And it's, you know, it so takes where, a long time. Where were they? The, that would be Mulva Hill, which is right on the other side. So if the privacy fence, like this is Mannheim, Plattic Hill, this backside here. So my, yeah, on this backside right here. So there's a lot of shrubbery back there that Tom put in because of the other people. And it's it's sparse, it's, no, it wait, takes wait, a long I'm time sorry. to grow. You said our neighbor. And yes, I'm just our trying neighbor, to understand our neighbor Tom on the neighbor. back end over here. On yeah. the other side of yeah. the street. He, he owns that house and that house. That's his mom's house and his thing. He owns the house in back of our house and also is who we share a driveway drive with. But not this <clears throat> house that's no, over no, no. here. Yes. No, the, yes, that oh, one. That house? Because that, he owns so that he one and the other one. Yes. Yeah, ah, yes. Okay. okay. Exactly. He, put a, he put, was starting to put in privacy fences because our house became a party house uh, for a long time. Right. And so, you know, the vegetation, it takes a long time to grow in. It takes, you know, my son will be 11 and a half by the time he gets, it starts to get into a place where it needs to be. You know, it's funny. I've had a concern about graffiti. I was you thinking should. about that, yeah. Because especially when that fence goes in, it's uh, it's something that I've figured it's that we are going to have to deal with. So, may I? Um, I spent a lot of time there today. <laughs> if you saw someone parked across the street, it was probably me. Um, trying to trying to reconcile my concerns with what you want to do. And so let me just kind of throw th some things out at you. Um, my concern has to do with the fact that you're, you're already four feet up. So putting six feet on top of that is a very tall expanse. And I was wondering, I, I know this is part of what you were just saying, but I was wondering whether you would consider, given what you were just saying, I don't know, but whether you would consider doing something like running the six feet till past the porch or or to the to the house and then maybe having it like slant down so that at least towards the corner and as it rounds the corner it's the four feet so it might not be quite as massive looking and wait, wait let me just say and the other thing i was wondering is whether whether you did that or it was approved for you to do the whole run or whatever, whether you would consider putting in some shrubs on the street side along the fence just to kind of soften it a little so that it wouldn't be quite so... Well, we, yeah, I mean, we would consider a lot of things. I think our question is... Um, I mean, the privacy is definitely an issue for us, and um, 
our question is also how does it how does it really affect anybody's anybody else's view? Do you know what I'm saying? Like I the, do. Yeah. No, like I do. What, how I does really it really? Do. How does it really? What's the impact on? I, I would think that the neighbors would be the people that it would be impacting the most. Um, uh, any anybody who was driving up in Mannheim. Mm -hmm. would be impacted by right. that's my the size concern. of that fence. That's and my concern. There's, there's no question that that's a legitimate concern. You are rather I, guess, I guess my question is, why is size more, more of an impact than aesthetics? For example, there's a fence across the street that's totally dilapidated and falling down, but that's Okay, you know, like well, that's the issue yeah. is this oh, it's an enforcement we, issue. Yeah, it's falling down. You're coming to us and you're saying, I would like you to give us essentially a 33% variance from what the elected officials in the town have decided will be the standard. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, if there are other issues, two wrongs don't make a right. No, 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 of course. And so what we're focused on here is we have a certain responsibility not to act like elected officials because we're appointed. Right. And we can't just say, well, you know, what do they know on the village board? Right? <laughs> um, we have to have a good reason to say, um, you know, this is why we're going to give a 33% variance to this family. And when the next group, you know, the next people come before the board and they want a 33% variance, you know, we're setting a precedent, so we're not trying to bust your chops. Sure, sure. We're trying to do what is responsible. Right. So the question of aesthetics, I think, is part of what is behind the, you know, village's decision that they want fences to be four feet high. Right. That's fine. I mean, I, I, can, I can see, right, but they only want it to be four feet high up to the front structure, up to the front of the house. So yet there's still going to be this wall of fence that you see, but now you're going to see half short, half tall. So t to me, the balance makes more sense than um, if you're talking about aesthetics and what you're actually seeing, it makes more sense. Meaning the privacy, the privacy fence, so that section that we're talking about. So you're going to have a six foot wall yeah. and then it's going to just drop down. Well, wait, that, that, wait, 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 that was not, I'm, I'm not, it, it, nobody has adopted this with me. It, for me, it was simply a, a suggestion when I was sitting parked across the street and I kept looking at it. And I will tell you that I was, when I first got there, my first reaction was, oh, I, I think that that would be really imposing. But I sat there and I, I love your porch. Oh, thank you. And I love the fact that you want to replace a plastic fence with a wooden fence. And so I was sitting there saying, how could I feel comfortable? You know, how, how can I feel comfortable saying I can go along with this? What, what, what part is the problem for me? And as I inched forward on the street, more towards the, you know, towards 32, I just was very aware of how much of a wall this would be. And the fact of the matter is that your front, 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 isn't going to have privacy regardless, and you're on 32. And if there was some way I could feel comfortable, I could feel comfortable if there was some way to give you the privacy that I, I certainly understand why you want. There's no question in my mind. And yet still kind of not have it be this long wall. Um, oh, but I never got to your other question was, when you were talking about the other side of the fence, I'm happy to put shrubbery on that side of the fence. So if that wall was there and you wanted it softened with shrubbery, that's not a problem, which was going to be a question on whether or not I can do that or not on that, on that side. On this, on because I did, because my, you know, my property line ends basically right at that pin. So that's the end right there. 
but we may, but we maintain right. it even though yeah. it's not right, right, right. So then, so therefore, it's like I mean, you guys aren't planning on putting a sidewalk in anytime soon. I'm assuming. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so uh, so I'm happy to plant things there as long as you're not planning on putting something in. Well, um, it was just again, I you know, I I just. Because that's because at the end of the, the I guess I can give you the full picture also. So the the full plan here is to add this this fence to come in right with pick a this side to be privacy. This all this grass here is going to then become uh, vegetation, whether or not it's going to be ground cover or plants or a little bit of shrubbery. Because this is a very dangerous hill to to mow anyway. Because I'm on an angle, it gets wet, I'm slipping. I'm always afraid of flipping over the mower on that side. So that's all going to become vegetation in here. All ground cover mowed. comes down exactly, and then it'll look pretty and soft, and you know it'll probably be. Um, not Pachysandra, but it'll be uh, like Myrtle or something like that, climbing down through here. You'll have the fence there. Um, we have these four trees that are planted in there now. There'll be shrubbery on this side, hopefully coming over and growing over the fence also. So it's there's a vegetation will all be in there, and whether or not I'm allowed to plant vegetation here, I'm happy to do it. It has to be small, it has to be short, because the lines are right there, um, the power lines are right there, which is why I chose a cherry here, so that this cherry will spread over the fence and come over to the side and I'll prune it, so that it's, it stays short anyway, but it, so that way it doesn't impact. How much space would you have to plant something in front of the fence? Within that kind of section, I have a birch, I've added a birch right here, which is very small, it's off the, I'm getting confused on where I am. Okay, right there. There's a birch right here. So uh, on right, your side of the fence. On my side interior, of the fence. Exactly. Interior. You may have seen it. It's where the fence actually physically now no, jets, I didn't, jets I noticed over. I these guys, but I didn't notice that. Yeah, there's a little one right there. That one actually has to be right moved here? up. Is that it? Yeah, that's the one where the fence it ends. Cause the pr yeah, it's right there. Oh, it is. That one actually physically has to be moved wow. up a little bit, I think. Okay. It's a very small, it's brand spanking new. Um, well, let me ask you the one other concern that I have. This this corner um, is is this this corner doesn't conform to code in terms of visual. Is that right, Kurt? Well, by my measurements, it, it, the incursion is approximately two and a half feet. The village code makes you um, draw a triangle 30 feet from the intersection in both directions on the corner lot. Mm -hmm. And then that, that third side, there's a little bit of an incursion. So, and that's just for sight distance for people. Right. So I was looking, as actually, I have a photo for that. Because within that, <clears throat> unfortunately, I was hoping McCarthy, when you put that fence in 70 years ago, actually spoke to you guys and dealt with where that fence was, okay. it was supposed to go appropriately. Because now my problem that have with that, it's not to move it back a little bit. Two and a half feet, it starts to get a little tight because I have four trees that are there that are now 14 feet high. <laughs> For yeah. me to move those right. back uh, to have growth is gonna be a little bit difficult. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's way difficult. <laughs> so that may be just a little bit slightly back. So the fence was put in without a yeah. permit? Well, I'm not, I'm not aware that I can check the file for it. Selling? Just a couple of things. Number one, there is no restriction that you can't plant in the village right there. Uh, if you're willing to do so to soften the fence, they certainly can plant on the outside of the fence. It's a very exposed corner. I think when people buy property, I believe they have the right to privacy. I know how long it took William and I to grow <laughs> our hedge. Yes, we're right across the street. Oh, it is large hedge. It's the corner of oh, the hedge box. Yes, yes. us. And it takes a very long time. Uh, we also planted in the right way to create a barrier. Um, in terms of providing privacy because we have a screen there for it as well. And so I think that issue, the ability to soften, 
Um, I think one might be more concerned with the color. With the color, color of the fence. Oh. Okay, and how you might soften it that way. I also think it is not an issue of disability. I've, I've been in and out of that intersection many, many times. Their fence is not a disability issue, in my opinion. Yes, but at this, uh, okay. Yeah. The only thing I think, and I don't know whether they would consider it, is I would, if grant the variance and allow for the soft fence for privacy, I would ask them to increase the front the same height. I would be very concerned about mm -hmm. that. I would be very, I would Why? be very concerned. Again, because the, the, uh, There is no visibility issue and they're not doing this. Wait, there is a, I don't know. They're not going to a fence on the front. Oh, see. This, this triangle here, that is not a transit visibility issue. issue. This is the, this is a photo of the visit. This is actually from where the car stops. So that would be the only thing. Am I? Um, yeah, I, 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 you're on. You're on Planet Hill, looking, looking, case. looking down. And then I'm going left, right? you're there, looking left. Yes. Yeah. You might want to think about increasing the height to the same side as the privacy fence. There's the. I would have. I think I would. I. Uh, from an aesthetic they, point of view. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm glad because I, th I would have, I think, a lot of difficulty with that. Um, I, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm really feeling, okay, the, the vegetation and the softening. And again, the fact that you've already done the lovely things that you've done and what you want to do makes me feel you know, comfortable, except of course, as you always are reminding us, it's, they don't necessarily live there for her. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, you know, and that's part and parcel of why the variance has to be so carefully considered. Right. Um, but if you were to, I don't agree that there isn't a visibility issue. Uh, right now, I don't think there's a particularly bad visibility issue because there's so much space between the pickets on both sides, so you're really kind of seeing through. I wasn't looking through the pickets. You, you, yeah. you actually are much lower than the fence. Yeah, though. I went. No, 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 I, I appreciate yeah. that, but, but it, I mean, that's a bad intersection. It's a really difficult, I mean, people are careless mm -hmm. on that intersection. So, um, again, I, I, I really want to be clear about this. I really hope that we can, you know, make, allow whatever the language is, something good to happen, but I, I, I do have some concerns and I'm not. Yeah. I, I, have, I have this concern. When I look at this red triangle that says, you know, some engineers have figured out where you ought to be, you know, how you should guarantee visibility, would you be opposed to doing the following? Building the fence up to the point where you hit the red, and then just taking your fence along here, so that what we're approving is a fence that conforms to code. Conforms oh, to code. A six foot fence doesn't conform. No, I realize that it doesn't conform to code, but you I, mean I think we're variation. actually, in a sense, being asked for two variances. Well, well I well. can't go for a six foot. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. It, it's, it's a precedent that is 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 huge. I think it would be nice if our code allowed for this kind of thing, but it doesn't, and I believe that we will be seeing six foot fences all over. There's the one, I'm just curious what allows for the variance, because I know of one that's on Du Bois that basically completely shuts out a whole community of houses, and it's six foot, at least six foot, and it goes way beyond the front of the house, it's covered with landscaping. Which Is it the village or town? It's village. Which side of the voice? On the left, if you're headed down, like if I go. If you're headed downhill, it's on the left. Downhill, it's on the left. 
I'm not sure. There's a new, it's a new community yeah, yeah. Um, it's with houses that are in the $500,000 yeah. yeah. range yeah. and they have a giant right. fence oh. that completely shuts it out from the road because it's a main road, I assume. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering what the difference is between that situation. Do you know if they got a variance or if that's an illegal fence? Mm -hmm. We don't know. But it's also not at a corner. I mean, if for me, part of it is the corner thing. Um, you um, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, uh, you know, I mean, I really am made more comfortable by the vegetation stuff. Um. <coughs> it, it seems to me at this point, uh, one possibility would be for us to table this tonight, to give you an opportunity to think about what you've heard tonight, the concerns that have been raised, and manner, any manner in which you might address those concerns different from what you have indicated you wish uh, as a variant. So there are modifications that you could make in your plan, uh, and I don't think we're ready to decide tonight. Uh, I, I have a feeling that if we push it to a vote, it's not impossible that the variance would be denied. Rather than, than have that happen, I think it makes sense for us to table this until our next regular meeting and give you an opportunity to think about how you might approach this somewhat differently that would have a, a very good chance of being approved. Now, while it is true that the code does not permit certain heights, yes. The code does provide for a zoning board of appeals, which has the power mm -hmm. to modify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Moreover, any decision we make could have conditions affixed to it. That's not an uncommon thing. Uh, and the conditions might, might indicate that if you, the fence is going to be this high, then there must be these elements to mitigate the visual impact. I'm noticing in here that, that this could be uh, four feet or could be five feet. And I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that if I were parked down here in this car, I probably wouldn't have a very good view of your home if even if your picket fence along there were Solid. Solid. From the house, you don't feel like you're getting a lot of protection because you're looking you can down see on people. Exactly. Well, you can I see. understand. Yeah. And I know that that doesn't keep people off the easement here. I understand that. And the drones will get up there eventually. I would suggest barberries. The thorns are off. <laughs> <laughs> and the birds like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it, you, you might think about something to do that. Do you know what the criteria are that we're supposed to be considering? There are five points that the Zoning Board of Appeals is supposed to consider. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, can you give them a copy? Did you want to, is this a, a copy they can have or do you want to read it? Uh -huh. They can have it. Or, or did you get that when you got your did, 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 did you no. receive this from the building inspector's I office? I thought that was part of the handout. I thought it was, it it was supposed to be. Yeah, it, really it, it should be a regular yeah. handout. If not that, then it does, it does set forth the five criteria, if not that exact format. Yeah. But look at that and see you know, what it is we're supposed to be considering because you have pointed out a number of things in the village that, you know, well, 
so. Things have gotten by, but just because things have gotten by in the past doesn't mean that we should say, okay, we want to continue this because we're trying to do what we're supposed to do. Right. I am also concerned that you are actually asking for two variances. That one of them is for height, and that the other is to go beyond the sight distance area required by the code. Oh, right. From what I'm reading, thank you, Kurt, you are asking us sort of indirectly. And well, that's new information to us. It is actually. We did not install that. That was brand new when we got the yeah. email for this meeting Yesterday. two days ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. But so I'm also concerned about that two and a half feet. I'm a little more sympathetic to the notion of six foot privacy. I'm sorry. I, I kind of understand that. But when we're talking about blocking traffic, you know, I want to think about the worst day, not a lovely day like today. And it really does concern me that that fence might take out visibility that under conditions we can't imagine could be crucial. And I think that public safety is a, an important consideration. I, I mean, I, I feel more constrained about that. I, I, I feel that just when you look at the distances and the numbers, that it's all very abstract unless you sit in your car at the stop sign and look at what we're talking about, which is just a, as a reference point, the photograph that Jason took. You, when you stop at the stop sign, you're already beyond, you're beyond the fence, and you're beyond looking through the fence, and you're because you have the section, a sidewalk, and then a then a hillside. Right. Before you get to it's, the fence, it's kind of like a physical reality when you're when you're there, because of the height also of the lot. It's kind of a special. It's kind of a strange. It's a unique lot in that it way. It is a unique lot, but the thing is, we're not making this decision. For this lovely couple sitting here. Sure. We're making a decision that once that fence is there, whatever anybody else does on that property, that fence is there. And not every owner may be as charming as you guys are and as conscientious. I mean, I really appreciate what you've done for the property. But when we're sitting up here, we, you know, we're, we have to just look at the property and not think, well, they look young, they're going to be there for a good long time. We have a professional planner on state. Mm -hmm. I'm very concerned that this board is not directing some of those questions to the professional who should be able to come in here and give you an answer to some of these concerns. I'm also concerned this nice couple has not been made aware that they have the privilege of sitting down with this planner and reviewing what they're requesting and asking him to help them I, I make this work. I, 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 on two occasions we, we met and we so saw What's your recommendation? As far as granting it or not granting it? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, it's not for me to substitute my judgment for the board's. Um, in, in this case, I happen to think what was just said about um, the grade and adding four or five feet on top of it. In other words, you, the four foot fence is essentially giving you approximately six or more feet, or is it not? You know your property better than I do, but I know it's raised. Um, so, so for that reason, a, a six foot fence will be um, will look even higher than higher than that. Um, I do understand that what it must be like to live on a very busy road and want simply some privacy for, for your son. I, so I do think that if there's a reason to grant this variance, in my opinion, it's it's due to the all the activity, whether it be vehicle traffic or for some reason um, uh, college students parking on this street when there's a lot right diagonally and of course hundreds and hundreds of spots down the street, but that's not gonna change, I suppose. Um, so with that in mind, I can understand where, um, where the applicant is coming from. In the two meetings we had, we spoke mostly about the procedures for this variance, which were fairly burdensome. In other words, 200 feet, um, all parcels notifying everyone within 200 feet with village lots is quite an undertaking. So the first meeting was uh, a, 
you know, a reconsideration of, you know, um, um, do our evidence want to go through this process? Um, we ended up not talking that much beyond the, the vegetation, the landscaping alternative, which is not going to be able to produce privacy quickly enough. So that was about- 20 years in state mass. I, I understand completely. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive that this is a time when, um, when they, they want to have a little bit more privacy. Um, I, I think that it, it is it possible, well, actually, some of the other fence models would, are not as opaque or fort looking. I mean, is, is there any, mm -hmm. would you consider that where, where the? I mean, I think that we were inspired by the beauty of the fence, also the house. What is the yellow house with the stone down by the Waldorf School? It has the exact same fence on a corner, yet it's behind their house because their house is up on a hill, yet they've fenced in the entire corner there and it looks to me it looks beautiful like I think it's also a very subjective it's a very subjective thing whether or not you see it as fort like or as a you know a beautiful part of the landscaping design I think too is the is the you know varies from person to person and the safety concern I know it doesn't vary like if it's not if you don't have visibility that's a black and white issue um, I think our approach was to make it to make it beautiful um, and to have it solid like that you know like yeah. that house and there's an, there's another house that has the same um, the same fence near more yellow pool also which their lot it goes behind their house but we don't really have you know we don't have the That's same not where you lot need it. Right. Exactly. exactly it's a different exactly. it's just a different configuration <laughs> but there's those fence it's just a matter where the fence is it's kind of arbitrary whether or not it goes beyond the front of the house because those fences still are visible from the road as a structure that you see from the road that takes up the whole side of a house or area of a lot. Um, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's a very subjective thing what this fence will end up looking like with the, with the landscaping also, whether or not it's a wall or, um, and when or it came not. And when it came to color, it's gonna be stained. Natural, Not as dark natural. as the porch. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a slight bit. Did you it's going to be a, a light brown. Six feet. Um, I think the way we came up with six feet was again, looking at homes in the area that had privacy fences that we felt were maintained and looked aesthetically pleasing. And those were all six feet fences. Um, you know what what they looked like, and um, also what we can see. When we're standing in our yard, not only what can see us, but whether or not you can see the, the traffic accidents <laughs> on that corner. As you say, that corner is a very dangerous corner. Or the cars parked, whether or not you can see the cars parked, or whether or not you can see the party that's going on across the street from where we stand. And we, that's how we came up with that. We wanted to, we really wanted to block it out. And it is a wall. Um, I had a house on 32 North, very busy highway, very high speed highway, and a five year old son. And I was nervous and I wanted a six foot fence. And I couldn't get it, but I'll tell you what, spruce trees do a wonderful job. They just shot up. And that's the problem also, is that I have electric lines on that side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but but yeah. there are, there so, are things that could but then at that point but once we get to that point then we're still at the same part about talking about the visibility we're talking about so since there's no problem with vegetation you know it's we're, we're in this what were our concern the concerns that I'm hearing are don't seem to be a concern once it comes about vegetation you understand which makes which is that's our question which I get is confused like, about. right the idea of the fence well, I, I, you know, I still I, I just want to say I still would have a concern about a green wall that went that whole length whether or not we had any way the village had any way of controlling for that I don't know but I, I still would have that concern um, but I, I would it I would go back to to what Carl said would it would it be reasonable to say you know to to 
take the month and mull it over and... Um, what is the pleasure of the board at this point? I would like to get some closure whether you want to go ahead and act on this this evening or whether you want to defer it to the next meeting, but I, I really feel at this point we should get some closure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can, I can put it off for a month. I can go along with putting it off for a month, and I would like it, the two and a half foot um, visibility thing to be clarified. Actually, when I, I didn't discover that until recently, but I was hoping that you that you could work with that. In other words, it, it's such a tiny corner that impedes into that. It, it's difficult for us to, when you say that there's no problem with, with sight distance, that's, this was, um, this code provision, that's not for aesthetics, that's for safety. And it's difficult to, if there were to be a problem, the, the, the liability problem would be with the village and potentially the ZBA, not, not yourselves. Mm. I prefer to table it for another month. We have a motion. Yep. Motion to to, sorry, to table. Yeah. Motion to table. Motion to table to the very next meeting. Yes. And there's a second to that. There was a second. Okay. Yes. Is there any discussion? Question. What kind of clarifications? Are you asking yes. this I think that's a great, I think that we've made our decision in terms of, there. there's only two options really, which is to do what we're asking or to do it the way that is in code, which is to bring it to the front of the structure, right, and end it there and then from that point on, like this is legal, it's legal to have six feet to is the front of the house. Legal? Yes, that's the code. It's legal, I'm sorry, yeah. to have six, was it? I'm sorry, can Six feet privacy is legal to the front of the yes. house, and then from there it has to be four feet. That's the way it's yes. written, no. right? Okay, but uh, we, we have a motion on the table. We're ready to vote? No, we, we, no, need, I, we need clarification. She's for clarification. I think you ought to tell them what it is that you need to know and that your reason for your tabling it clearly suggests you have questions or concerns that haven't been addressed. Yes. And so I think you need to tell them what they are. My concern is this diagram from Adam's fences that takes your fence to its current dimensions, mm -hmm. putting a six foot wall two and a half feet beyond what code specifies as being required for visibility at the corner. So that's new. That we know. That we know that we have to address. Okay. We did not know that before. Well, that, yesterday. that's cool. But you know, I'm okay. just trying yeah, to be yeah. specific, and sometimes right. I'm a little that's dry good. about it. Yeah. But your application right now, which is what we would be voting on, has a map in it that clearly specifies that it would go to a distance that is two and a half feet beyond where it should go. So I would need to see a new map. A new application. A new application, or a modified, yeah, with a map that indicated a distance two and a half feet so, back from where it currently But was. a map, like, from Adams, you don't? I don't care who makes the map. Okay. I mean, just, I don't want this map in the um, variance that we grant. Because that would be two and a half feet between the fence and the trees. Yes. Yeah, I was hoping that it could be corrected. And again, I, if, if it's helpful to any to any um, to anyone, I, I can look in the file and see what the story is with that fence. Although I'm not sure how that's going to help. It doesn't. The current <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. The the, yeah. the other issue that I think you need to address is the manner in which you can mitigate the impact, the visual impact of the fence, uh, and that may indeed involve researching vegetation that is rapidly growing in terms of height, width, and so on. Um, and, that, and that meets your need for a sense of beauty. So, but wait, are you asking them to come in with a list or a landscape No, no, plan? I'm asking them to, when they come back, 
to provide something to us that indicates that they have addressed these issues. And this, is this an issue with the exterior side of the fence and how to soften that side of the, how it looks from the street? Yeah. I'd also say that I know I haven't said much tonight, more of a listener, um, but when I went to go take a look, you know, at the corner, I was looking more at the neighborhood instead in that area. The reason that I would like to wait another month is so I can go back there with the safety concerns. So when those are brought up, that really weighs heavily on my decision. So, for me personally, that's why I want to go back so I can take that into consideration as well. That's why I would want to wait a month. So let me just be clear about something. In terms of the safety issue, yeah. one obvious option would be to move the front fence, the, the, 30, the Route 32 fence, back two and a half feet so you keep a square corner. And another option would be to leave the fences effectively where they are, but to cut that corner so that there's a diagonal mm -hmm. Um, yeah. that leaves the front fence where it is and the side fence where it is, but frees the corner, yeah. in do effect. You, do you know what the distance is um, I see. from the front of your house to the fence as it currently stands? I don't. Okay, because I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm looking at this little map and I'm trying to think, well, if I take this back to a net feet, how uh, much fence are we talking about? I can make a guess. Do you have that photograph? What photo is it? Because it's done in eight foot sections, so. If you take it back two and a half feet, a lot. You're really asking for a, you know, when I'm it's about 20, 20 feet. In terms of one of the things we're supposed to think about is what's the sort of, I do it in percentages. And so if you're asking for a very minimal variance, which might be a couple of feet, to get to a certain point, um, that's what I'm trying to understand. How many feet are we actually looking at of six foot fence that does not conform to code? It's not the entire length right. of the side street. Because that's legal, actually, but from behind. Yeah. So the largest part of the fence that would be privacy is actually illegal. That's already. Um, yeah, and so then I'm you're saying, and on top of that, you subtract the two and a half feet for the cut the back. two and a half feet. I, I, I think cut for me, for me, just visually, cutting the two and a half feet. Because I was, we were sort of, I was counting like empty space picket, empty space picket, empty space picket, and I was, I didn't measure, but I was approximating that it was like three pickets plus three empty spaces if you cut the corner. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Does the diagonal work? How does the diagonal work? So you would you would have a fence, therefore, as I'm understanding it, you would have a fence that would come like this, and you would have a fence that would come like this, and then you would have a section of the fence that would come like this. Right. In other words, it's uh, our neighbors have done that. They actually have a diagonal that across might be the street. Why they did that. That's why they do it. There's a tree outside of the fence. What's the distance? What's the distance on that? So you could make two and a half feet. No, well, it's not. It's not actually. If you do the diagonal. It's actually less from from each dimension because you're you're really just drawing a line um, right. a line alongside the red line that was that I drew on the map. Right. So it's actually less. It's not two and a half feet back towards your house. It, it's sort of. It's the, it's a corner. It's two and a half feet from what? A little bit back. Are you sure the triangle that you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As one option. That one is suggesting a diagonal well, I mean, right across Kurt, there. Kurt actually well, suggests. At four feet. At two and a half feet on either side. Oh, yeah. No, no, oh. don't, don't okay. think about height. Okay. We're only talking this is about the yeah, diagonal yeah, 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 yeah. Just the diagonal. But what were you, what were you okay. saying? Okay. And the height is a different yeah, one. Instead of taking 
taken to it a feet away if from the you're concerned so about this is really your visibility it's, triangle, it's the diagonal helps then you it you're going back. Right. back. That's great. What do you think I mean, that's, that's about that? And that's that's feet on each side and across diagonal. What's that look like? Because that's their space. Anybody have a good sense there the of scale? But that diagonal, that's the problem. Yeah, no, we'll if you look at that, and you guys can yeah. mark it out, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, well, but actually, as long as you know, you can mark it. No, we need to get sense that it is in creating a diagonal. We would take care of the visibility issue. I don't know that's how Where it needs to be. Yeah, so you won't have any questions out there. Yeah, yeah, great, great. And actually, if the tree starts getting big, it's more it's more about that tabling this issue until our next regular meeting please say aye aye, aye. opposed like sign we will see you next month and we well, we may not be here when is next month's meeting it's the second tuesday of are we here of august what we may that? be on vacation. What is that date? They don't come in September. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure. I'm sure right. Well, yeah, it's. Yeah, it depends on. Um, it will be the 13th. We'll be here on the 13th. We get back the 11th. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Is there anything else to come before us tonight? I thought you were getting rid of the. Your agenda says that you are disposing of the hearing. Actually, um, um, there is a, the other item is um, the another adjournment of yes. the existing um, appeal uh, by by no place like home development. So we're we're in in as much as there's a settlement principle. However, stipulations are being drawn up, and that's apparently a drawn out process. Um, well, I thought the safest thing to do would be to ask the board to adjourn the seat. Yeah, that's And I did so consult met with the uh, twice. the attorney for the plaintiff in this case. I don't have anything right. In my day, in my dreams, the idea was to be organized by the school. I move then that we adjourn. In front of the city. Entertain motion to adjourn. When school. Okay, the, I mean, this yeah. thing. Uh, adjourn, no place like home. Is there? Yes, to adjourn the no place like home. Help me with the words so we get over to something. Adjourn the, the uh, appeal of no place like home uh, until until further notice. And I'm going to say this one, if it comes back, it should be re noticed. Um, again, this is not your application. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I have a couple of conversations. Um, but then it should be re noticed if it does. If it is. Yes, I would say um, um, adjourn until the stipulations for the settlement are in place. Okay. And if that doesn't occur, then the hearing should be re-noticed at that point. Fine. As a, for the public hearing. Yeah. That's my motion. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Did you get it, Alberta? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <It's> okay. <laughs> he did. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Like sign? Okay. So ordered. Who seconded that? Vicky, <laughs> okay, thank you. So are we moving to Here's a question of clarification for my own education. Yeah. A six foot side fence for privacy is not the question. No. Until it gets to the front line of Until it gets to the front line and should they find the solution on the diagonal, right. then they can do this. No, we are saying that that's why we are adjourning it till next that's month. That's the question, Ellen. The question is, six foot side fence of privacy is allowed. Yes. The question is the triangle right. and how to solve that. Correct? Yeah. No. 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 no it's, it, it, it's that, that was a secondary issue that I had discovered only recently with the city. He says there are two. The two questions. variances yes. being requested inadvertently. And one of them is taking a six foot fence within the two and a half feet that needs to be left for visibility. So it's a separate issue in the code. But but if they resolve that by the diagonal that Vicky, I think, suggested, or somebody, um, Kurt, whoever, actually it's Kurt. whoever suggested it, then that 
it's not a variance issue. Right. That, that still so leaves the variance. Up. Now, what was your second? The six foot fence. The six foot oh, fence between lady. where the house oh, and, yeah, the front line. and the front line. And the front line. The front line, yeah. yeah. What? But one resolves the other. No. The, so the corner isn't, the corner, cutting the corner doesn't take the six foot fence back to the house line. There's still yeah. space from where the house ends where there might be six foot fence till you get to where you're cutting the corner. So we yeah. need, we need to know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now on the side street. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm on Platico now. Right. Okay. And I am entitled to, as I'm the okay. a six foot side fence. <laughs> Up to here. Up to two and a half feet. No. No. Up oh, to the where the house, the house is. And between the front of the house and, and then, where that, you know, where that corner ends. Yes, but this is a, this is a grandfathered situation. You've got a problem. How do you know that it's a grandfathered situation? Because it's currently the fence exceeds. But it's not six feet. It's but it's not four six four feet. feet. That's, you're missing my point. The front fence, they have. Yes. They have location, that. they have. Yes. Yeah. As currently. Six feet side fence. Okay. You're saying that they have to end the six foot side fence at the corner of the house. Yes. And then what? Go to four feet? Yeah. Go to what? That's they, what they, they would have to do. Four feet if they wanted to. Yeah. But the side fence is the height of the Only to the, the front line the front of the house. Right. All right. So you're looking for a resolution. If they just go four feet from there. Yeah, that's fine. And four across, what is the issue then? There isn't, but that's there not isn't. what they want to do. That's not what they're asking. I'm, not, I'm asking. You know, yeah. Yeah, they can go six feet from their property line to the front of their house and that without needing us. Right. And then they can go four feet to where the fence, in effect, bear with me, would meet up with the front fence, which is also four feet, as long as they resolve the two and a half foot triangle, whatever we're calling it, right. without our permission. But uh, my question to you all is, it seems to me, yeah, if you're mixing apples and oranges, and I may be unclear, right now, they have, by right, yeah. a fence that goes within the red triangle that we're talking about. That is theirs by right, right now. So they don't have a problem with the red triangle. What they have a problem with, according to Katie, if I understand her, is they want to go from six feet all the way down to the, all the way down the side to on the front. Yes. If they end the, the six foot at the corner of the house and go four feet, which they already have, mm -hmm. you have no issues. Right, right. Okay. Yep. Just, wait, 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 is that true? I don't understand. It is, it is true, but... The grandfather well, issue pertains to no, well, out of conformance? My understanding well, was... Well, they're replacing the fence. I'm not no, sure that, that fence, Right, my that understanding is that... been there for before before the zoning ordinance and this section of it was enacted. Okay. Now, if that's the case, then that will be grandfathered. But grandfathering... You gave approval for that fence. It doesn't well, matter when. I did not give approval. Don't not give approval. We First don't of all, know. If you want to object to see how far that's issue, um, it was, certainly wasn't caught when they bought the home and a municipal search was done. So that's, um, so clearly they, they undertook their responsibilities um, when they purchased the house. Um, I was hoping to resolve the situation through, um, through perhaps a diagonal segment or even to measure it, um, to remeasure it and see if it's maybe perhaps slightly less, although that is pretty accurate. Um, 
the. Um, but you understand what I'm asking. This is a pre existing, pre variance request. This exists. May, may I just say that if the, if the six foot variance was granted, then the board would also have an issue with visibility and another variance would have to be granted. That I if agree no on. six foot variance was granted and they would drop back down to four feet, then we would Not have an issue. an issue. And that's. I think that's. I think, where we, I think that's where okay. we're at right now. And they don't need to be here. I would like. Uh, I, I would like confirm I would like confirmation of that that in fact there is no issue this is none of you guys that there is no issue with this corner because my understanding from countless issues that have been discussed around things that have not that have been done not in conformance with various parts of the code is that there is protection for the community yeah. that says either error or I don't know what it says. I mean, I'm not spouting the legalese of this, but my understanding is that grandfathering is a, 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 a very precise or specific, the conditions of grandfathering are very precise and specific. And so what I would like to say is we're take uh, you know they didn't they didn't want to do the four foot in the first place the six foot four foot so it isn't as though if we said to them hey you know you could just leave here agree to do the four foot in the one sec and never have to see us again you could start digging tomorrow that didn't ever seem to be an option on the table and frankly I'm glad I would like to see them get as close to what they want as we can help them get within the constraints of our responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I would certainly ask that um, even if it turned out that they were grandfathered in, even if, and that's a huge if for me, I would ask that they, even if they had were free to say no, that they would say, ah, yes, this really is an issue that, that we'll 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 rectify. Yeah. We'll we'll yeah. choose well, to rectify. This is the zoning board of appeals. Right. Period. Right. That's why I want to know and the legalities of this. That right now, according to code and according to reality, they have a four foot fence. They have a four foot picket fence all the way around. Right. Yes. The zoning board of appeals can't ask them to change that. We're, and we're going to. No, no, no. no that All I'm saying is that the six foot privacy fence, they are requesting, they have the right to, right now, to the corner of their house. Mm -hmm. If they want to go beyond that, mm -hmm. then they belong here. Mm -hmm. That's right. All But that's, that's why I'm trying I, to make. Right. Okay, you brought it up, so now we can address it. Okay, so tell me what they are is. not responsible for past errors and past mistakes, right. and to hold them responsible for those past errors mm -hmm. and mistakes is something else. But mm -hmm. there are conditions under. You don't know that. No, I, I, that's why I'm saying I really, in order to feel like I'm making an intelligent decision. I would like by the next the meeting to know what grandfathering means yeah. in this particular instance. I'd like to know what it means generally. <laughs> it, it's, first of all, it's very specific. Um, um, the term grandfathering is, is a lot when it comes to land use situations. Um, it, in, in this case, um, there, 
if a variance was granted, that's the only circumstance, and the only circumstance I can I can imagine whereby there would be no issue either from my office or the code enforcement portion of it, um, or um, or that's the only that it would be an issue for for my office. In other words, we need to correct. We have an obligation to enforce the code regardless of what mistakes. And let's say offense. Let's say offense permit was granted without a variance. That's that's a possibility. Okay. In, in that case, we still have an obligation to enforce the code. And in, in this particular case, um, that would that would equate to um, um, a, a shocking, um, shocking and disappointing um, conclusion for. Um, for the owners of, of of this property, that would be totally unexpected and and I'm sure disappointing to to know. But that would be the obligation of the village to correct that situation if the, there was a mistake made in the past. Unless the fence, well, it can be documented that it was built before zoning was enacted in that in that portion of zoning, right. which is a a long way to go for. It's not probable. Yeah. Yeah, a long way to go for a situation that I hope can be. How about we don't say anything more and you check the file? Great. Okay. That'd be great. That's right. <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. So, do you want a motion to uh, adjourn? Yes, I do. I move that we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Okay, thank so, you. let me tell you about this other thing now that we're adjourned. And I'm